Monday marked a new feat for DRDO as it successfully tested its latest version of the Akash surface-to-air missile. In its test flight at the integrated testing range, Akash Prime destroyed an unmanned aerial target that mimicked an enemy aircraft. DRDO's Akash Prime, an advanced version of its Akash surface-to-air missile system, is DRDO's latest lethal weapon. Akash Prime also heralds a new accomplishment for the Indian Armed Forces over its neighbouring rival, Pakistan. In March last year, Pakistan tested its advanced version of the Babur 2 subsonic cruise missile. The exercise saw Pakistan's missile crash within two minutes after it was launched. Pakistan's dream of making a cruise missile that covers a distance of 750 kilometers was shattered in the crash. Touted to boost the Indian Army's confidence, the Akash system is already inducted and will continue to improve with more lethal missiles. DRDO Chairman G. Satish Reddy claims that the Prime version is a step above its predecessor, Akash. The Akash Prime missile system is a medium-range surface-to-air missile system. The Akash Prime is equipped with a homegrown radio frequency seeker that imparts improved accuracy while intercepting targets in various conditions. It has an operational range of 30 km at a flight altitude of 18 km. It can attain a maximum speed of Mach 2.5. The supersonic missile can be launched either from the T-72 or BMP-2 chassis or Tata Motors heavy mobility trucks. The latest test certainly boosted the morale of the Indian Armed Forces. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh congratulated the Defence Forces and hailed DRDO for its production capability. Recently, India expressed confidence in its strategic deterrence capability with the ongoing induction of Agni-5 missiles and Rafale fighters. However, speaking of the numbers, China possesses 350 nuclear warheads, while Pakistan has 165 as compared to 156 in India. The latest missile launch only goes on to show that India is not behind in the arms race and our indigenous manufacturers have only bolstered India's arms capacity.